Oh my god. Dude, this guy's massive. <laughs> Dude. <gasps> We're gonna do something really fun today. Vertical jigging. I got a whole bunch of jigs here that I rigged up last night. In the last vertical jigging video, we went and caught some big AJs, and boy was that drag screaming. Oh! Maybe we can make that happen again. I'm just gonna get some fishing gear together. I'm gonna hop in my car and we're gonna drive over to Dan's house. By the way, small boat update. My boat is officially being worked on. They took the engine off, the transom's coming off, and I should have my boat back, optimistically, in one to two weeks. It looks like it's raining and the sky looks a little black. The perfect recipe for a good day offshore. <laughs> We're on Dan's boat. How's the weather looking? Oh, as usual, we are looking at uh, yeah potential stormage, and of course, we only go out when it's uh, you know potential storms. We like to we like to live uh, yeah. tough. Yeah. You know. Well, it wouldn't be fun if there was no danger, risk of life. Danger. Damn, it's pretty windy. I wonder what the waves offshore are gonna look like. Those can only be two to three is what it said. <laughs> Some big waves, Dan. Holy smokes. There you go. Oh, yeah, these are easy four, four footers. Oh, man. That's a big one. Damn, look at that one. That's a roller. That one's about the barrel. The waves probably picked up to about five foot. There's some big ones out here. So we're gonna turn back, head back in, and maybe do some inshore fishing instead. Putting our tail That's a big our one. Legs. Yeah. And we're riding the waves. Look at those. Waves always look small on camera though. Uh, yeah, that'd be it. <laughs> we're literally riding these waves. Yeah. Waves are breaking in molasses reef. Back to land. Tail between our legs. Yeah. Some clear water here. It's looking really good. Might be time to start doing some artificial fishing. Throw some mirrodines out. Oh, you know what? I think I hit seaweed. Yeah. Yo, what up, dog? We ran offshore, but it was crazy out there. Yeah, we were going to, but the waves were like five foot out there. Yeah, if you want to ride some big waves, that's where to go. <laughs> it's a good time, though. Maybe like two weeks. All right, man. Good talking. Yeah, you too, man. Like a beer? <laughs> yeah, he's wearing a two conch shirt. I wonder if he knows those guys. We're really going in the back country now. I told Dan to go back here, and if we get stuck, it's all my fault. But look how deep it got here. Oh, look at all the little. I'm telling you, this is a mangrove snapper spot right here. This is mangrove snapper spot right here. Seven and a half feet. Oh, there's a bunch of manatees. This is pretty cool back here. They, they took off. They're going through the cut up there. They're smart manatees. Well, we're not going to fit that way, but 
we're doing some pretty cool exploring right now in the mangroves. All right, anchor down. Looks like it's holding us. It looks like we're ready to fish the mangroves. We got the boat anchored up in this little patch of mangroves. We do have some ballyhoo, right? Yeah, we got some frozen ballyhoo. Maybe we can just try some cut bait. Yeah, we'll try some artificial jigging, some cut bait, and who knows? Maybe we'll hook it. I don't know if there's fish here, but this sure beats five foot waves smashing in your face. On the road again. Well, this spot looked nice. There just wasn't any. We got to learn this backcountry stuff a little bit more. There's fish everywhere. We just don't know how to get to them. We're going to keep on trying though. Two more mangroves. Well, I might as well keep trying to cast a little bit. Maybe I can get a nibble. Ooh, something's getting chased right there. Oh, I'm on. I got a fish on, oh, it got off. There's something out here. I think something's right here in this pocket. Oh, what could have that been? It was a nice strike. It was like, pow, pow. It felt so good just feeling a fish striking. I, mean, I just want to know what that was, what we're dealing with here. Is it a trout? Is it a jack? Is it a barracuda, pompano, a bonefish? Captain Dan now offering fly charters. You can fish off the front of his boat. Ooh, there's probably something. Oh, I'm on! Oh my God! Oh! oh. He's still on! Oh, it's a barracuda, it's huge! I think it's a... The question is, do we keep him for bait? Look at him. What is it? Look at the barracuda, you're right. Man, he came zipping through those damn barracuda. Oh, I don't want to lose my Mirodine. Yeah. Wow. That was good. Light rod, light tackle, perfect. That was sweet. Look at this guy. All right, what do we do about this? Oh, you're going to have to bring him on board. Okay, I do have pliers in my, um, in my bag. All right, who's ready to smell like a slimy barracuda? Woo! Okay. Do we want him as bait or nah? I do now. Okay. You do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what? We we we'll let him go. Please don't bite me, sir. Please. This is terrible. Well, they do stink. Nice. All right, All check right. him out. Nice fish. For the back country. Shoot. Wow. Off he goes. Okay, I smell like barracuda. He was good eating size, actually, if you're into barracuda. Now I will forever smell like barracuda. That's, that's, that's like your new cologne. Yeah, we should make a cologne called barracuda. Barracuda. Repel every woman in the world. <laughs> you know, I bet there's some good fish at the mouth of that cut. Oh, it's in front of us. Oh, 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 piece of seaweed. False alarm. Oh, I'm on again. Right. <gasps> oh, ah, uh, it's another barracuda. Oh, there it is. That's a, that's a trap. Oh, that was a barracuda. It was a baby barracuda. <laughs> Very, baby Boy, barracuda. I'm 0 for 2 today so far. Well, I'm, I'm 0 for 2 on the barracuda. <laughs> so this is where they live. This is where they grow. So the barracuda love the mangroves. Dang, I don't want to risk losing my lure on these barracuda. Hiya! Like seaweed or yeah. something. Oh, there's some right there under us. Oh, I'm on! Here we go. Here we go. Oh, snap! They love the. Oh, oh, it's another one. Uh, yeah, another barracuda. This is dangerous. Yeah. Woohoo! Woo! -hoo. Oh, 
I can see that hook's about to come out of them. Woohoo! What we do with those pliers? Yeah. Yeah. He's a bad boy. Yeah. Adios. Fish on. Fish on again. Just troll. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh my god, it's a barracuda. Who would have Who would have thought it's a barracuda? How have I not been cut off yet? Oh. All right. Whoa. I just got a nice thump. That was a big thump right there. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Oh, God. Dan, we're the Barracuda Masters today. Man, oh man that, that, that lure and Barracuda. Holy crap. I think that guy would probably eat that one. <laughs> Away he goes. I thought it was a snapper, but I was very wishful thinking. There's got to be a fish out here somewhere. There just has got to be a fish. Oh! I got a, I got a hit. Ah, oh, he didn't get hooked though. A little tap, it was like a thump. I'm gonna try that again. What? I, I think it's a needle fish. Wait. I'm over three. <laughs> Now you're just doing them for, oh. Look at that mouth. Whoa. Got some serious teeth in I was hoping you, whoa. You could see all his teeth. Holy smokes, he's got a lot of teeth. All right, don't want to mess with him. Oop, took off like a rocket. Oh, Dan, I got another one. Ah, and you got off. <laughs> All on this mirror, Dean, right here. I got a nice little rattle here. Nothing, 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 don't care. Yep, I got two barracuda chasing mine. <laughs> they chased it all the way up to the boat. We just want some trout, man. A nice, fat, juicy trout. Couple nice, fat, juicy trout. Is that asking for too much? Whew. My shoulders are getting sore from... Cast number 3,000. That used all that working out. Yeah, sheesh. Things a man will do for just a nibble. <laughs> just want a nibble. Just the nibble. Just the tip. Man, this wind is blowing hard. I wish I knew the backcountry fishing a little bit more. All I could seem to get with Dan was barracuda in the mangroves, which is actually pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm not giving up just yet. We're gonna try one more thing because I want this to be a catch and cook. And it's probably got catch and cook in the title. So I probably succeeded on some kind of level. Phew, look at that wind. Right now it's blowing 25 to 30 mile an hour and I am going to take the paddleboard out, probably never to be seen again. Let me show you what I'm rigging up and a little spoiler alert. You heard this here first. I am in the process of building an aluminum, aluminum flats boat, John boat style that I can take out into the flats do some mangrove fishing, try to get some snook and tarpon on, use for duck hunting, but that's a secret. Shh. Right now, I'm gonna get on the paddleboard. Where's my rod? This right here is our prototype, but it's basically a weighted jig head with a little hook there on the side. I got my light action rod set up with some 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. And on this jig head, we're gonna be putting these bottom candy squid tails. These are squid flavored and are gonna sit on the hook kind of like that. These Miradine lures are freaking great for catching barracuda in the mangroves, but they're also expensive. They're like nine, 10 bucks each, and it's pretty painful when you lose one to a toothy barracuda. These are squid flavored. I've used these offshore a lot and they do pretty well, but I've never tried them inshore jigging, so I'll stick that on there. Oh yeah, just like that. 
This jig head is a South Florida Fishing Channel prototype. That's why it's still lead colored and there's no eye on it. But I'm just testing it out, make sure it works good. These are still prototypes. So if you're watching this video right now, they're probably not on the website, but hopefully within a month, we'll have these jig heads also. Now let's go get that paddle board and paddle into the perfect storm. Yeehaw. My GoPro mic decided to stop working, so I'll just sum this up. I paddled out, it was windy, but I did manage to hook into a barracuda that got off right at the paddleboard. I also had something toothy bite the tail off of my bottom candy. The next day I just tried fishing off the dock and I did get a bite, believe it or not. Pulled up a nice little mangrove snapper. He went right for it. I was pretty excited. The reason that I'm walking up my dock is I wanted to show Caitlin before I threw it back in. Slightly bad news. That bottom candy plastic jig that I was using that I really wanted to catch a barracuda on in this episode. We went out to the patch reefs yesterday offshore. I tossed it out and it just got completely slammed by something huge. And I only had 10 pound fluorocarbon on there. So I lost our prototype. <laughs> <laughs> so prototype's gone, but I got a ton more of those jigs coming. I really like them. They will be available on rwboutdoors.com for sale probably in the next two weeks about. And I will do some more fishing videos where we just use those. But for now, we're going to use the Mirodine lures, which are great lures. The only reason I don't really like using these is how expensive they are. <laughs> I guess that's part of fishing. Anyways, I'm going to take the paddle board out again, and let's freaking get a barracuda already. I want to know how they taste blackened. Oh, fish on, fish on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, it doesn't feel that big. Yep, a little barracuda. Not big enough to cook. I just saw a barracuda right off my dock here. This is day five now, I think, of trying to catch a barracuda. Um, I really want to do this barracuda catch and cook, and uh, this is becoming an internal battle. But you know what? Good things happen to those that wait. Oh, something's messing with it. Some, some. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this guy's massive. This is a massive fish. <laughs> oh, dude, dude. <gasps> no freaking way. God, the birds are chirping. This is freaking a battle now. Oh, my rod just fell in the water. No, no. I'm so sorry I did that to you, Rod. Oh. <laughs> you guys almost buy that for a second? So this morning I went out um, offshore and we caught this guy. That's gonna be a different video. He's too big to eat. When they're big like this, uh, from what I heard, there's a high chance they have ciguatera and I don't wanna get poisoned. And he's a big boy. He's all but five feet. So, I was thinking, what if I just did a major plot twist in this fishing video? What if instead of spending another five days trying to catch a little barracuda, because fishing is one of those things. Some days they're biting everywhere and I'm catching them left and right. And sometimes when I try to catch something and that's all I care about, I just can't seem to catch it. Instead of trying to catch and cook a barracuda, I'm gonna use a barracuda as bait to catch a snapper. And we're gonna do a snapper catch and cook. <laughs> Wait, that means I have to catch a snapper. Okay, I may have not completely thought this through, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut up the barracuda. Not the whole thing, because I'm gonna use a lot of him for crab, stone crab, and blue crab bait, but I'm gonna chunk up probably like a fourth of him and just throw chunks out here, and maybe I can chum up some mangrove snapper and catch one before the sun comes down. that foot or 
been. He's a big, big boy. Real big boy. And there's spine right here. They really are like dragons almost. I mean, they're they're fierce, fierce monsters. With some sharp teeth. So I'm going to just get these chunks and I'm going to chunk up the snapper. If you think I'm going to catch the snapper, go ahead and leave a comment and say I'm going to catch the snapper. I've been chunking the barracuda and there's freaking seagulls everywhere. Seagulls everywhere, snapper nowhere. I kind of shot myself in the foot by throwing that barracuda out there and pretending to, to reel him in because I think that scared every snapper in this whole area. So I'm going to bag up some barracuda chunks, put them in a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to come back out here tomorrow when the fish are not afraid and are back home, hopefully. That's, that's the plan. This is our, I don't even know, seventh attempt now at catching a, a fish, but today we're doing things different. I got that big bag of chunk barracuda from last night. I'm gonna throw some chunks in the water, try to get the snapper excited. Come and get them, come and get them. Hey, come and get them. Free barracuda. This right here is the South Florida Fishing Channel size two circle hook. I'm just gonna stick it inside a piece of barracuda chunk. And we'll toss that down down on in there. There is definitely a moral to this story. I'm just not sure what it is yet. Oh no, houndfish. Houndfish. He was hanging on to it with his teeth and he fell off with the bait. Hopefully he's full now. Oh ho ho, got me a little fishy. What do I got here? Oh my gosh, look at that. A mangrove snapper. Target species acquired. <laughs> kind of small, but still a good looking fish. Whoa. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> mm, strawberry kiwi Capri Sun. living easy right now. This is a lot easier than being offshore getting wrecked in a storm. Yeah, way easier. Come on, fishy. Where you at, buddy, old boy? Damn, they stole my bait. Ooh, what do you know? Another mangrove snapper. Ooh, he's small. This hook will catch real small fish and real big fish too. Adios. My patience is wearing thin. I have a hunting trip tomorrow, so I don't really have time for this. I'm moving. To plan B. Actually, it's like plan D or E at this point. I catch some of these little fish, but nothing big enough for the pan. But then I spot a blue claw crab swimming by, so I grab my landing net. After all this work and hassle, I got a blue claw here in this landing net. You know what? I think I know just the thing I'm gonna do with him. I'm gonna pop his claws off. There's one. And the blue claw, I'm gonna put in my live well and we'll use him for tarpon or permit fishing maybe. I know just what to do with these two. 
It's a good looking blue claw. We got our two blue claws. I know, I know. A little meager, but Captain Elliot, he's chilling over there. He'll be on set in just a second. On set. He's been begging me for fish for like, I don't know, two or three weeks now. Normally he eats like the best fish ever and he's been neglected a little bit. He's been really sad. So I figured, why not turn this episode into giving Mousy a little treat? So we'll put our little two blue claws in some boiling water. Maybe for, oh, it's gonna turn red. The claws are gonna turn red. They'll probably be done in about a minute. Mm -hmm. We're gonna crack them open and give them to little Captain Elliot here. You don't always have to catch fish to have a good time. Right, Caitlin? That is right. Absolutely. I spent the last seven days trying to catch this freaking barracuda. And here I am with a couple of blue claws and I couldn't be happier. Mm -hmm. I'll always remember this as the week of barracudas and I had a blast. Paddle boarding around in a lot of wind. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And now let's get to Mousy having himself a little snack. We rolling? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I only boil them for about a minute, maybe, maybe two minutes. And look at that. They're nice and red like Maine lobster. And I'm gonna take the meat out of them so our little boy can have the snack of his life. Meat reveal. Oh. Wow, look at that. You see that meat in there? Yeah. Big glob of meat. Okay, look at that. <whistles> I'm gonna take all the meat out and make a little pile for Mousy. Yeah, good presentation. There we go. Boom. Man, we went from Dan and I going offshore, trying to vertical jig big fish, to going inshore to catching barracuda, to trying to catch more barracuda, to trying to catch snapper, to trying to cast net a grunt or anything, to catching a blue crab that we're now going to feed to our very precious Captain Elliot Mousy. Captain Mouse, Captain Mousy Elliot is his full name, I would say. Have you changed it? Well, Mousy's is his nickname. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, Mouse is his nickname. Captain Mouse Elliot. Should we see if he enjoys his treat? Yeah, let's see it. Mouse. Oh, his eyeballs just got real big. Look at his little eyeballs. Come here, Mousy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Here, I'll, I'll let him know. Uh, he's, I don't think he's ever had blue. Oh. Oh, oh. Wow. Happy mouth. That is a super happy mouth. Oh, don't eat so fast. You yeah, gotta, that's going. You got to enjoy it, buddy. Here. He's been having serious withdrawals. He hasn't had seafood in... You know what? Well, my I have a very happy kitty here. And when my kitty's happy, I'm even happier. You're a good kitty. P.S. Wait, 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 wait. P.S. what? Or Penelope doesn't like seafood. That's why she's not getting fed. We're, oh, not, yeah. just, we're not like biased parents. Penelope doesn't like seafood. She doesn't, trust me. Not every episode we're catching big fish. Most episodes we are. Yeah, like half episodes. Okay, episode. <laughs> but uh, anyways, thank you guys for always sticking around for watching this episode. Remember, you can support the channel. Go to rwboutdoors.com if you like. This is the OG camo pattern, which, can you even see it? I mean, can you're you even a, see me right now? You're just ahead, I guess. I'm a tree. <laughs> I'll see you guys. <laughs> I don't even remember. Thank you guys for watching, and thanks. It's late. It's a late <laughs> night. Thank you guys for watching, and cheers. <laughs> <laughs>